Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get all Players Vita plugins in one app. So this is actually really cool. It's called Auto Plugin, and it lets you install pretty much all decent plugins really easily um, just in one application. So if you guys want to install it, all you want to do is just go ahead and start up Vita Shell. Once it starts, press Select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, do it by USB or FTP, it really doesn't matter, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave a link to the GitHub in the description. And basically the latest version for the auto plugin is 3.10. This was released yesterday. So all you want to do is just download the auto plugin.vpk. So once that has finished downloading, make sure your PS Vita is connected. Mine is connected via USB. And all I want to do is go to my downloads folder and just drag and drop this on the root of my PS Vita. So that is it for the PC, very simple. So now I'll show you guys how to install it and how to set it up. Alright guys, so back on your PS Vita, all you want to do is just go to your UXO, scroll down until you find the VPK. So here is mine, autoplugin.vpk, just press X on it and then press X to install. Make sure you have unsafe homebrew enabled in the Henkaku settings and then press X again for yes. So it will install very fast, so just give it around 5 seconds. So once it has finished installing, you can now completely close out of Vita Shell and look for the auto plugin on your home screen. So here is mine, just press X and then just press X on start and then it will load up. So it's going to install all the files on that, it's going to create the config.backup mine might have installed quicker than yours that's because i have actually installed this before just to test it but once you're on the home screen and it looks just like this you can see that we've got several options so you've got install the sd to vita plugin don't install that if you've already got it set up and um, we've got install plugins uninstall plugins install plugin npdrm and install config so this one I'm going to do right now, what this does is install the latest config.txt for pkjgj. So this is for the latest version as well, as you can see it's really up to date, version 0.31 plus. So if you press on that, it's going to install all the latest PSP, uh, compatibility packs, PS Vita games. Um, so you guys might as well just do that as well because it's really useful. We've also got uninstall plugins, so you can see the plugins I already have, and you can uninstall them, but I don't want to do that. You can also switch between your URO and UXO just by using left and right. So I'm just going to press circle to go back. And now we've got install plugins. So there's loads of plugins on here. We've got NONP DRM, um, Vita Bright, tons of different stuff, uh, DS3 plugin, DS4 plugin. And basically, as soon as you install it, it will put it straight into your URO. Or UXO so make sure you're on your UXO so press left or right it will say at the top up here obviously I've only got a tie folder in my URO so that is why it's automatically selected it but tons of different stuff on here um, OCOC Vita I've pretty much made videos on quite a lot of these things but this is just the easiest way to install it you know without having to worry or anything like that so once you guys have installed your plugins all you do is press start to close and it will probably ask you to reboot your PS Vita so that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make a real quick video on how to get pretty much every decent plugin um, on one place. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.